Here you go, my man. Enjoy that. Hey, look, okay. I'm gonna be dropping a new one in the next couple of months, so okay. come back and holler at me. All right, brother. All right, man. All right, take care. All right, peace. Another Shit. satisfied customer. What was that all about? Clearly, you didn't cut his hair. Oh, well, I sold him a copy of my latest mixtape. Oh, you want one? Yeah. Uh, are you rapping on it? Yeah. No. <laughs> come on, Jay. Look, it's pretty good, man. Come on, support your local artists, and it don't get more uh, local than this, because you live in the same house, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, brothers. Hey. What you brothers talking about today? Yeah, uh, uh, Kenny thinks he's a rapper now. I don't <laughs> think I am. I am. Look, and I'm pretty good at it. Yo, Smitty, you want a mixtape? Oh, sure, I support. How much is it, Kenny? Five dollars. Unfortunately, all I got today is my lucky $2 bill. Hey, don't even worry about it. I'll, uh, ka -ching. Oh, what happened to good old cash? Uh, or Skrilla, or bread, or clay, or oh, greenbacks, or right. scratch. Oh, speaking of scratch, can you scratch my back in the it's middle? Okay. Yo, <laughs> man, you brothers are so old school. Look, with the Kaching app, man, you don't ever have to go to the bank anymore. Well, that's a good thing, because I can't stand them banks. Ain't nothing safer than my mattress, <laughs> except for them springs poking me in my ass. <laughs> You got change for a hundred? Hey, Kenny, can I borrow your kaching app? <laughs> Sorry, my brother. You've got to get your own. <laughs> but what about you, Jay? That's why I had this uh, new machine installed for that very occasion. Perfect timing, man. Brand new ATM. New? It's, it's like classic, like, like Ice Cube Jerry Curl. But you know what? It's reliable. Yeah, uh, sir, uh, Jay's dream machine awaits you. You're right this way. <laughs> Yes. Yes, sir. I told you, you're going to make your own money not doing anything. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> $5 usage fee. What? <laughs> well, there go your tip, son. Oh. What the? <laughs> oh, by the way, um, you know, the machine deposits, too. Nice. Hey, if y'all need me, call me. <laughs> well, Jay. Since your machine takes deposits, why don't I bless it with my lucky $2 bill? Right this way, sir. <laughs> Yo, Smitty, uh, your account is negative $2 here. But at Bank of a Mattress, I got at least $150. Yo! It's one of you fools named Kenny. Yeah, yeah, Kenny. Uh, I I'm Kenny. Hey, 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 man, hey, we got cameras, hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody finna hurt you, punk. Oh, oh thank God. God. What, what, you need, need a haircut? No, by the way, old boy just walked out of here. Now I'm straight. I cut my own head. Yeah, he cut his own damn hair. Except sometimes... Shut I... up! Shut Shut up! Hey, man, I mess with your mixtape, though. That thing is on fire. It made me want to fight every time. <laughs> hey, man, you can just download it from my Chattagram page. I'm a gangster. You ain't got no CDs? Yeah, compact discs. Shut up. Shh. Shh. Uh, look, uh, actually, I do got a couple, but it, it's gonna cost you $5. I ain't got no cash. More checks. Hey, man, uh, just ka-chang me. Yeah or, yeah, or you can keep the retro and uh, use my ATM right over here. Well, nah, bro, I don't like ATM. What? They rob more people than me, bro. Hey, hey don't even worry about it. This one's on me. <laughs> yeah, back in my day, we used to pop lock more. Yeah. Somebody help me out. I'm yep. locked a lot. Yep. Come on. Uh. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What the hell is this bathtub doing in my living room? Relax, Jay, relax. Look, I made a custom recording studio. Out of a bathtub? Why didn't you just use the one in the bathroom? Because it gives me bad acoustics. Makes me sound like Young Thug. I know your narrow ass better get this bathtub out of my living room. And where did you get this from? I picked it up off the curb. Somebody threw it out. And you know what they say, Jay? One man's trash is another man's treasure. 
Look, Jay, look, ever since the buzz of my mixtape, I decided to pursue rap seriously. Hey, son, son, where is this music thing coming from? Huh? What, what happened to business school? Oh, come on, Jay. You know music has always been my passion, and I'm finally hot in these streets. This will be my last shot. I can always go back to school. Besides, nobody wants to hear no rhymes from no old 50-year-old accountant. I never blunder the numbers. When the spring is over, taking over the summer. And hey, you know, it actually sounds tight, man. You got a pen? Yeah, son, son. Listen, man, do, do you know how much it costs to produce music? Look, Jay, it's easy these days. Check this out. All I do is click this, copy that, paste here, double click that, hold down command, option control, shift down for three seconds, and mm, voila. <laughs> huh? All right. Yeah. All right. See? See? That seems kind of easy. <laughs> mm. You, you, you know, back in the day, I used to do a little rap for myself. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm Jay the Dream Weaver, hotter than a fever, cutting sharper than a cleaver. <laughs> Old school like a geezer. <laughs> hey, that don't sound good at all, it, Jay. It, I, it, you want to use the booth? <laughs> <laughs> that damn Kenny didn't put on the alarm. Oh man, I, I swear young people these days, they just keep their heads in the clouds. You know, I don't know how he thinks he's gonna be in the rap business when he can't even wrap up a regular business. Well, there's nothing wrong with reaching for your dreams, Jay. Look, my point is, he needs to be practical. You know, start making smart decisions like I did with the ATM machine. Um, it's just ATM. Yeah? The M is for machine. It's not automated teller machine machine. Okay, well, well whatever it's called, I'm gonna make a lot of money. You sure about that? Yeah. I mean, how are you gonna make money off of something you don't have? <laughs> what do you mean I don't have? It's right over. Oh, yeah, 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 someone, someone stole my ATM machine. Um, it's just ATM. Yeah. The damn Kenny. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, hey, I got a medical card for that. Oh, yeah. He's not here for you, Smitty. Oh, well, that's good. I don't have a medical card. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Thank you. Um, if someone stole my. Shakedemcakes.com uh, password, you too? What? Uh, no, no, I don't have one of those. Though. Not anymore. No, uh, Kenny didn't put the alarm on, and uh, someone stole my ATM machine. ATM. <laughs> Will you stop correcting me? Okay. I heard what happened. Look, the good news is, it's insured. There's no need to overreact. Oh, thank God. Uh, how much am I gonna be reimbursed for? Um, zero dollars. What? Yeah, per the rental agreement, it says I'm the only one getting reimbursed. But you're responsible for all the money inside. What? I'm gonna file a report, and I'm gonna work on getting your replacement machine. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. I'm going to find that culprit and get that ATM. Well, thank you. Thank you, Smitty. At least someone is on my side. Well, I'm not on your side. I need to get back my lucky $2 bill. I had nothing but bad luck since I deposited it. What? You... Like what? Right. Like what? Oh, well, first off, I got a traffic ticket. You don't have a driver's license. Then I ate some bad shrimp, and I got myself some food poisoning. Oh, you're allergic to shellfish. And on top of all that, I no longer have my lucky $2 bill. Because you deposited it. Exactly. That's when all my bad luck started. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm going to go find a thief. All right, all right. Listen and listen up. There's been a robbery. And everybody here is a suspect. You, you a suspect, you a suspect, you a suspect, you, you, I see you. You look crazy. Look, look at you, look at you. You know what, Smitty? I ain't been handcuffed since college, and you know, I can use it. At least not by... That's enough out of you, too. I don't want to hear no more from you. <laughs> okay, so, Smitty, what the hell is this all about? What are you doing? It's about the missing ATM, Cheryl, the one with my lucky $2 bill in it. If that is indeed your real name. You could be working for the government. Cheryl, where was you on the night of, uh, uh, yesterday? <laughs> you better get out of my face, Smitty. Well, uh, Smitty, I was with Cashmere last night. He had the most beautiful brown russet color eyes. And I, just... I don't want to hear them all that. That's enough out of you. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. okay. okay. Damn, 
Jay, come on. Yeah, uh, Kenny, we need to talk. Do you realize that you didn't set the alarm at the barbershop? And thanks to you, my ATM machine is gone. No, actually, it's just ATM. Yeah. Wait, 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 as a matter of fact, I wasn't the last one to leave the shop. You were. Well, yeah. you know, I think you're right. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Now, can I get back to doing what I was doing? You're ruining my flow. And you know, once the juice is loose, man, it's hard to get it back. You know, that, that's the other thing I wanted to discuss. You know, this, this whole rap thing. Kenny, can you get back in the shower? Damn! <laughs> Who, who is this? This is my background singer, man. I'm working on my Drake. Now, you were saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this whole uh, rap uh, thing. Wait, uh, excuse me. Did you say singers? As in, there, there's more? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Kenny, we're doing this away. What are we doing? <laughs> Look, Jay, I'm, I'm kind of busy right now. Can, can you get on with it? I'm painting these girls by the hour. Hey, uh, what are you paying them to do? I told you, they're my background singers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your name? Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to live right, trying to live right. <laughs> I love Cheryl, I love Cheryl. <laughs> Look, this, this is my pops, he's off the market. Then yeah, why don't we let Big Daddy decide that? <laughs> yeah, why don't we let Big Daddy decide that? <laughs> Yo, why don't we let uh, Cheryl decide that? Oh, yeah. Cheryl? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who is Cheryl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you playing games. I, I love Cheryl. I love Cheryl. <laughs> can, I, can I speak to you for a moment? Listen, man, how are you affording to pay these singers? Huh? The, the shop isn't doing that well. Look, I told you, Jay, my mixtape is hot in these streets, and plus my... The chain gap is blowing up. Here, check out these numbers. Hmm? Dad, you made all that from mixtapes? Yeah. Damn! I'm in the wrong business. Um, you, you, you know what, Kenny? I was thinking on the way over here that you're gonna need a manager. I've been looking for one. Well, look no further, my boy. Look no further. <laughs> uh, Kenny, we are on the clock. Big Daddy, hmm. you need to be on. My clock. <laughs> Calm. Tick, 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 tick. Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. 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 Miss Mabel, hey, what's all these people here for? They're here for your concert. My what? Jay, what you talking about? Yeah, well, as your manager, I took the liberty to set up an impromptu concert. You know, just to keep the, the buzz going. A right? concert yeah, here yeah, in Mabel's? Yeah. I ain't ready for that. Yeah, uh, to quote a once famous rapper, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. <laughs> Look, Jay, I understand that, but I haven't even got my rhymes memorized, and I'm a studio rapper. And plus, you know, crowds give me anxiety, and, and I don't have a hype man. Yeah, I can't do this. I got you, I got okay. you. Yeah. If I have to get behind you, I... Oh, just boom. Smitty, sit in the house! You got Smitty? Yeah, well, it was either him or Percy. Smitty, sit in the house. Okay. Yeah. All right, go change on everything. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. All right, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce my son. Now, he doesn't have much street cred, but he does have good credit. <laughs> Good credit. <laughs> Can we get to it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, without further ado, here is Kenny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go, here we go, yeah, yeah. Here we go, here we go, yeah. Kenny? Yes. Yeah. That's the rapper name you came up with? Kanye, a, a Drake, they all use their real names? No, they have cool names like Nelly and Snoop Dogg. They don't go by Cornell and Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah. Yo, uh, hard as a lion, I'm a less mouse. You sleep at the couch at your mama's house. Uh, but he ain't at his mama's house no yeah, more. Yeah. Now he's on his daddy floor. Yeah, he's uh, on the daddy floor. Oh, Yo, oh, 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 Kenny, you ain't gonna make it. What, Miss Mabel, what's that? I'm just calling it like I see. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I got, I got, I got rhymes. I'm running the city. Uh, P. Diddy. 
Uh, you guys know who 50 is? Hold on now, hold on now. I see y'all not vegetable lovers, but I know you lovers in your heart. You know, for all of the special ladies out there that making them salads and pulling it all together, I got something for you. Here you go. Uh, uh, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, girl. May I please just, it's, 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 it's coming from the heart. From the heart? From the heart, right here. Oh, well, sure. Right here. Whew. This is a selection I call Boo, 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 Boo. Boo. Say it with me. Boo. that long face. You just booed me like three hours ago. Well, you gotta let the past be the past. It's just that Jay went through all this hard work to put a concert on for me and I blew it. It's like I started from the bottom, now I'm here. Well, you was pretty damn bad, but you can't let that get you down. Did you mean it when you said I wouldn't make it? Yeah. And I said the same thing to Martha Stewart when we was doing time together. Now she hanging out with Snoop. <laughs> If I had listened to the haters that said that I couldn't be nothing and that I couldn't have my own restaurant. But they was hating on you? Yes, but haters make you greater. See, they said that an ex-con from Oakland couldn't become an exotic culinary artist. Yet here we are in my illustrious bistro. Excuse me. Hmm? What I was saying, Kenny. No, you know what? Actually, actually, you said enough. I get it, Miss Mabel. What's going on, Smitty? I need to go to the trunk? No, Mabel, I got these little punks under control. These little thieves was over here the other day at the show. Is that right? That's right, yeah. I remember them from the shop the other day. I told you we didn't do that to Man, shut up, shut up. What you doing at Mabel's anyway? Casing your next hit. Yeah. I already told you we ain't stand on ATM, bro. Yeah, we already told you what it's on ATM and man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lenny, actually, it's just ATM because M is for machine and you can't have automated telling machine machine. <laughs> Shut up! Flag on the plane! Stupidity! Okay. Listen, can I talk? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Come on. Call the police. His breath is illegal. It was an old dude who paid us $5 to come to your show and boo you, man. What? Somebody paid you to boo me? He could change me, man. It's him, Jay, the dream. We've... I can't believe it. Oh, what? what? Hold on, hold on. Jay paid y'all $5 a piece to come and boo Kenny? Hell no. That cheap steak made us split it. Two fifty. Well, now that I can believe. Listen, man, I'm sorry, all right? What I did was wrong, and I can admit. Now, what you did was a real hater move, Jay. Straight hater. Okay, I deserve that. Listen, I... I just didn't want you to embarrass yourself chasing a dream that wasn't yours, like I did. Well, what dream was you chasing, Jay? Yeah, I would, uh... <laughs> I, I wanted to be a ventriloquist. A, a what? I said I wanted to be a damn ventriloquist, all right? <laughs> My dad took me to see Willie and Woody, and I, I, I got hooked. <laughs> yeah, but the, the point I'm trying to make, son, is, look, I know I wasn't there for you earlier. I just didn't want you to make the same mistakes I did. And if I'm not here for you now, well, then I'm the dummy. <laughs> Jay, that's so touching. And as you can see, I work with a dummy. 
Hey, thanks for the fresh ball, do you fam? You got it, brother. Hey, man, you got one of the mixtapes? You know what? Actually, I do. Hey, this was hey, on me. Thank you. Man, <laughs> that line when you was like, L, say I'm floating on him. Across the ocean, I'm far from New York, but the sound was coasting on them. I know they mad that I didn't come with cash, but my mind is like a diamond added up to do the math on the path of the righteous. Touch them like Midas, feeling like your highness, spreading all my kindness in another climate. Hotter than your mind get when you see me shining like a diamond through your blinders. Man, talk <laughs> oh, no, my man. Do that no more. That was dope, man. Whatever, Jay. No, I, I'm serious, man. You, you're talented. Listen. If you're still interested in doing the music thing, then I still want to be your manager. And I still be your hype man, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I'm good. I'd rather just uh, focus on business school. I mean, why set up for being an artist when you can own your own label, huh? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? Hey, yo, Kenny, that was you spitting? Yeah. And that was pretty good, man. Hey, uh, Terrence, what are you doing here? I came to bring the replacement ATM. Huh. Kenny, I need to get one of the tapes, man. Hey, you know what? My last one. It's about five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, brother. You gotta make it out here. I got that three dollars and two dollar bill. You got a two dollar bill. Hey, that's my lucky two dollar bill. Yeah. Uh, Smitty put it in the, the, in the ATM machine. Well, actually, it's the ATM. Yes. <laughs> Smitty ain't the only person with the two dollar bill in the whole world, man. Come on. Yeah, but I'm the only one with the serial number L three six three one eight five nine three A nineteen seventy six. It's a, it's a coincidence. Hey, so that's oh. the hustle, right? Uh, you rent ATMs to small businesses just to steal them later on and get the insurance. Who me? Uh, yeah, you. Yes. <laughs> so y'all trying to insult me, huh? <laughs> Tupac. Picture me rolling. What? Hey, hey, man, never trust a meal. Damn yeah, hard water. <laughs> What the hell you got on? It's ski gear. See, you 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 ghetto dwellers don't know nothing about this. <laughs> <laughs> I know that black people don't ski. I know that. This ain't the 1960s. Black people allowed to ski. Plus, I'm gonna be taking a few lessons. <laughs> Look, I hate to break up your uh, ski talk, a uh, black super day, but uh, where are you planning on going skiing? It ain't snowing nowhere near here. Well, it is snowing in Aspen, Colorado. And that's where me and Cheryl are going to be this weekend. I surprised her with some plane tickets this morning. Damn, that's cold, Jay. Colder than the snow in Aspen. Yeah, what, what are you talking about? I've known you way longer than Cheryl. You ain't never surprised me with no weekend getaway. Yeah, yeah, and I'm your son. You ain't never took me on a vacation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> there is no way I'm taking either one of you knuckleheads on a romantic vacation. <laughs> Ever. Look, Jay, it don't have to be romantic. We could just go on a vacation. We don't even have to sleep in the same bed. We sleep in separate beds or in the same bed, but it doesn't have to work like that. We could be head to foot. <laughs> oh, hell no. There's no way I'm sleeping next to your funky ass feet. Well, fine. Then I respectfully decline your invitation. I, I Yo, Smitty, can you pass me the uh, clipper spray? Yo, Smitty. Smitty! Oh, hey, Kenny. Sorry. I was lost in deep thought. What's up, man? You know, Kenny, I've been eating at Obese Burgers my entire life. It's my favorite fast food restaurant. And 10 years ago, they introduced the Heart Attack Value Pack. Man, how can you eat that crap? Because it's a great deal. Or is it? What are you getting at? Look, Kenny. The Heart Attack Value Pack come with the donut burger, the chunky fries, the husky sweet potato pie shake, and my favorite, two deep fried apple pies cooked in bacon grease. Damn, you really are trying to have a heart attack. Well, what I'm getting at, Kenny, is I calculated if I bought each item individual, it costs 13 cents cheaper than if I buy the value pack. Hmm. So there's like really no value. Exactly. Yeah. It's less than no value. It's negative value, and that's false advertising. Yeah. If I'd known that 10 years ago, I could have saved over 100 bucks. You know how many more value packs I could have got for 100 bucks? 
Or you could have put a down payment on a pacemaker. <laughs> Damn. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jay. Walking like them ski lessons didn't work out too no, good. No, 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 it was all good. It was all good. Well, then what happened? It, it, How the, was it? The trip was terrible. I told you black people can't ski. No, the, the skiing was fine. Cheryl and I fought the whole time, but we did make up. But the flight home was hell. Hmm, a lot of turbulence, huh? No, there was no turbulence. It, there was just no leg room. I mean, my legs were cramped the whole time. And the, the, the guy in front of me just kept reclining his chair back into my knees. I felt like Shaq in a, a smart car. <laughs> now, see? That's why I don't fly. Well, what do you do if you need to get across country? Oh, I hitchhike. Think about it, Jay. It's free and you meet lots of interesting people. They're like serial killers. Yeah, well, that's true. But they got great stories. And if you're not white, female, and living on a pig farm, you got nothing to worry about. Hey, uh, Kenny, uh, guess who I saw on the flight? Who? Angelique. Angelique? Yeah. What was she doing there? Yo, we're flying. I mean, I know that. I mean, uh, where was she coming from? Yeah, I don't know, man. I guess Aspen. Wow. Yeah. Look at, how she look? Oh, she look great, man. Better than ever, if I may say so. Damn, Jay, you just going to pour salt all over my wounds, huh? I just calls them as I see them. So, uh, how was she, man? Uh, what's she up to? She, she asked about me? Yeah. <laughs> well, no. No, no, not really. But, you know, when I brought you up, she said to uh, give her a shout. <laughs> You know, that's typical, man. You know, these uh, chicks don't want to start talking to you until you start missing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably want to come crawling back. Probably. Yeah, man, you know, I'll tell you what. What? I'm going to give her a call back when I feel like right. it. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> that's how I get down, you know? <laughs> I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. <laughs> going to the restroom. Why don't you leave your phone out here, Ken? <laughs> All right, man. I don't know what you tripping for. Trying to prove something? You know, I feel like calling her ass back right now, brother. You know, <laughs> she got the same look. <laughs> There she is. Hello. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah. <laughs> look at you. You look great. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't been to Mabel's in so long. How is she doing? Oh, oh she's doing great. You know, she's back at home visiting family. Oh, wow. Well, enough of that. Man. Yeah. Man, you look, look incredible. Thank you. Wow. Uh, so, uh, how have you been? Well, I've been great. Great. You know, Kenny, I am so... Happy that you called me. Oh, I'm just so happy you answered the oh call. Oh, my God, I know the last time we were together, it was just so, so... Uh, oh, you know, hey, just let the past be the past. Yeah. I'm just, just happy to see you. Yeah. Hey, uh, so, so what are you doing tonight? Here. Uh, I don't know. I just... I, I, do you want to do something? But, hell yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Kenny? Yes? There's someone I want you to meet. Who? <gasps> oh. Yo, you better get over here, girl. Hey, brother. Nice to meet you. Kenny, this is Conrad. You're Kenny. Yeah. I heard so much about you. <laughs> Big Ken. <laughs> I heard nothing about you. That's funny. <laughs> you were right about him, baby. He's hilarious. <laughs> honey, honey, have a seat. Oh, oh, one second. I got to go use the men's room. Hey, Kenny, you know where it is? Uh, that way, towards the exit. <laughs> My man, man. <laughs> like a little fade, too. Don't be too long. Yes, right back. <laughs> oh. So, Kenny, how have you been? Wait, hold on. Uh, let's backtrack. Uh, Babe, uh, honey, what the hell have you been up to? What do you mean? You know damn well what I mean, Angelique. No, I don't. That's why I'm asking you. Oh, you just gonna roll in here with some corny-ass dude named Conrad like it ain't nothing for real? Are you referring to my boyfriend, Oh, Conrad? your boyfriend? Yes, my oh. boyfriend, Kenny. I haven't seen you in nearly a year. I would assume we could start seeing oh, other people. Well, I would assume we would see other people in other people's time, not mine. You know what? Damn. Whatever. I actually thought you had matured, but clearly I made a mistake. Oh, yeah, you made a damn mistake. Oh, yeah, I made a damn mistake. Yes, oh, my God. Conrad, we are leaving. Well, what are you talking about? We just got here. And I'm starving. Yo, gay dog. What's good here? I know you know. Oh, man, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything, man, everything. Uh, what are you into? Um, I'll take a veggie burger. Oh, I mean, everything except that. OK, man. fine, I'll have a salad. Yo, <laughs> sit down. Get that. No, we didn't. 
Um, so my baby here tells me you're a Laker fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a... I used to be, but I'm more of a Golden State fan now. <gasps> you are? <laughs> me too. <laughs> baby, you never said that. I don't understand. I don't know. It slipped my mind. What? <laughs> so, uh, where'd you guys meet? Oh, <laughs> at wow. the gym. Oh, so you are uh, one of those brothers that hit some women at the gym, huh? That's uh, pretty disrespectful. Mm -hmm. She hit on me. Yeah. <laughs> Conrad was my personal trainer. Oh, oh yeah. we've been personal wherever it is. You better stop. You better stop. You, better you have stop. a round two right up in oh. here right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, well, Kenny, you uh, got a girl? Maybe we can all go out <laughs> together and uh, maybe see a movie, like a double day. Oh, that's, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, uh, solo right now. Uh, me and my girl up uh, broke up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Stella? Oh, you know her name's Stella. Yeah. Stella's. Interesting. Hmm. Jay, my man, come hey, on in. Hey, hey, uh, 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 what's going on, Smitty? What's so urgent? Jay, I want to introduce you to somebody. Jay, Big Lou. <laughs> Big Lou at your hey, services. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, what's bro. going on, man? How, how, how you doing? Oh, terrible. Yeah? It's terrible. I mean, absolutely horrible what they did to, to my client down there at Obese Burgers. Yeah, uh, something happened at, at Obese Burgers? Well, I, I got to tell you, Jay, what I was trying to do now. Hey. Look, I'm his lawyer. That's my client. Uh huh. And right, I'm going to talk for you now, okay? Right. Now, down at Obese Burger, right. they overcharged my client. Uh, Smitty, how much could they really overcharge you that you needed to retain an attorney? 13 cents. Mm -hmm. You say 13 cents? 13 hey, cents. hey, 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 13 cents. That's 13 cents every time he ordered one of them heart attack value pack. Okay. Now, this thing is every customer coming here and order value pack. That's 13 cents a pop. That's 100 pops a day. Okay. That's, that's like thousands and thousands of locations. You understand what I'm saying, Jay? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Now, what that is, that's called consumer fraud. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. And, and, and deceptive practices, you understand? I'm talking class action lawsuits. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, uh, <laughs> Smitty, I don't know what this is all about. I really don't care. I'm going home. Nice to meet you, Big Lou. Hold on now, Jay. Hold on. Now, I told Big Lou about your situation, and he seemed very sympathetic. My situation? Mm -hmm. Sure did. My, what? He told me, you look, 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 me and you, both of us big guys. Mm-hmm. Now, I understand how it feel when you're on them planes yeah. and you ain't got that much leg room. Right. You know, and... I don't know what these corporate guys were thinking. I mean, they put the seats all close oh, together. Yeah. Then you end up getting like 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 blood clots in your legs. And your neck. And then you end up dying before the plane get a chance to crash. Oh, you understand? Jeez, yes. Got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I That's okay. That's okay. All, all right, all right. I know it was emotional for you. <laughs> but listen, man, I didn't die. I didn't die. I was just a little uncomfortable. That's hey, now, you can sue for that. What? Because I didn't see no sign that says, you know, no leg room flights. Uh -huh. Now, I mean, I think, you know, consumers have the expectations to have just a little bit of leg room. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Am you're I right? right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I see what this is all about. <laughs> you think that Smitty and I are suckers <laughs> and, and, and want no. you to uh, file some paperwork for a lawsuit that you would never win in court. I, I no, 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 I don't even want a penny from you. I'm not even talking about going to court. I'm talking settlement. I want these fat cats to pay out their ass. You understand? All right. That way, if he get paid, <laughs> I get paid. It's pro bono. Pro bono. <laughs> yeah. Pro bono. All right. All right. I'm listening. I'm listening. Uh, mm. So, um, what type of percentage are we talking here? Well, 30%. Oh, that's crazy. What you trying to do? This is a scam. I knew what? it, Jay. Just like I said, Big Lou, get out of my house. No, I'm getting robbed. Donnell! <laughs> Donnell, it's a robbery! Smitty, Smitty, Smitty. <laughs> Listen. 30%, that, that seems very fair. It does? Yeah. Thank you. All right, Big Lou. We think that's fair. You got a deal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Let's sue these fat cats. Let's sue us <laughs> <some> fat cats. <laughs> so uh, why didn't you tell me that Angelique had a boyfriend? Because I'm not a seventh grade girl. <laughs> I didn't know she had a boyfriend. He said he met you on the plane. Oh, that guy. Yeah. I, I thought they were just friends. Oh, just friends? Come on, Jay. Just friends on the plane trip from Aspen? Just friends? Well, they weren't holding hands or anything. I knew she had her head on the shoulder, but, you know, why do you care? I mean, you are over her, right? Or are you? 
I am. But, but look, I don't want to hang out with her and her new boyfriend. And let me tell you something about this guy. Huh? First off, his name is Conrad. What kind of name is Conrad for a brother anyway? And Conrad wants to hang out with me and be my friend. But I don't want to be your friend. Hey! hey. Conrad! Hey. Uh. Hey. 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 Jay, good to see you again, man. Oh, likewise, likewise, hey. man. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I needed to get a lineup. Am I in the right place? Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know actually, uh, Got a lot of clients right now, so... Uh, no, you don't. You know, what I meant to say was I have a lot of clients later on, so I do have the time. It's My oh, seat's right there, brother. Cool, 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 man. <laughs> oh, man, you know, last night, me and Angelique were laying up in the bed, right? Oh, 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 oh <laughs> you know, the silk sheets and everything. In the bed, huh? Yeah, <laughs> oh, You know, my girl love to cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I was thinking, that Kenny is cool. You know, since I don't have that many friends in this town, mm -hmm. I thought maybe we could hang out. Huh. You, know, uh, you know, I got a lot of clients later on, so I can't, uh... No, you don't. And even if you did, I got your back, man. <laughs> you know what? I think uh, after you guys finish, you should hang out. You know, get to know each other. You know, <laughs> matter of fact, uh, here. It's 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> have fun on me. Oh, thank you. So generous. Yeah, man. thank you, Pops. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. This sounds like this is the beginning of a beautiful French. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Angelique! Yeah. I knew it. I, I knew you'd come crawling back. Oh, what the hell? First of all, I'm not crawling back. I just want to know what sort of game you are playing. Game? Game. You just came storming in here and slapped the hell out of me? That is who I am, Kenny. I am dramatic. But who are you? And why are you trying to hang out with Conrad? No, no, no. He's yeah, trying yeah. to hang out with me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, so it's his fault now. He is making you go out to lunch with him and then go, go to the movies? Yeah, he actually bought us some tickets to go see a ball game, too. Are you hearing yourself? Don't you think it's weird that you're hanging out with your ex's new man? Yes, it's weird. It's very weird. And do yes. you understand why that might make me feel weird? Yes, I understand oh. that. But what I don't understand is why he does not think it's weird. Why would he? What? Come on, wait a second. Does he know about us? He knows that we're friends, which I thought that we were. No, does he know that me and you have a past? Well, yeah, I don't think it's important for him to know that. Oh, I think that's very important well, information. I, I, I just don't want to cause any problems. Look, I think he deserves to know. Why? Why, why? I didn't tell you that when we first dated, I slept with Smitty. Smitty? Smitty. You slept with Smitty? No, I didn't sleep with Smitty. But look at your reaction. That's why I didn't tell him. OK. OK, OK, I, I see your point. But what I don't get is why you're using Smitty as your go-to example. That's just disgusting. Smitty's cool. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I served all those fools. Yeah. Now we gotta do is sit back and wait for the settlement officers to come rolling in. Yes, ka-ching, ka <laughs> You know what, Smitty? I gotta hand it to you, man. This is one of your plans that seem to have worked. And this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, what do you mean? You gotta cast a wide net on all these lawsuits, see? Uh -huh. That way, I mean, you two guys, mm -hmm. y'all been wrong many, many times. Mm -hmm. uh, like how? For example, I'm going to sue the Postal Service. It, it, you you lost some mail? Worse. They put a package on my front door, and I tripped over it. Oh, see, we're going to sue the Post Office and the government for all they got. You know what? I, I think you two are, are getting carried away. <laughs> I think we ought to sue this beer company. What? Well, you got an idea? Well, I've been watching this beer company advertise on television for years, and every commercial is the same. Regular guy buys a beer, all of a sudden he's surrounded by gorgeous women. I've been drinking this beer for years and all I got was Mabel. You think I got a case? I think you got a hell of a case. <laughs> and I think you two are mental cases. Hello? Yes, this is Smitty. Hey, put it on speaker just in case it's about the case. All right, hold on. What's that? Which one? What'd I say? I had him on speakerphone. Smitty, that is no speakerphone. He said, drop the lawsuit or else. <laughs>
Smitty? Oh, Jay, I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep. I was here all night. Yeah, yeah, because of the phone call? Jay. Because I couldn't sleep either. I was receiving threatening phone calls, too. And I saw a suspicious car parked outside my building. Oh, man. I think we should call this whole thing off. No, Jay, we're so close. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth it, man. So it's not close. worth it. No, all right, so... fellas. Oh. I got some news. All right. How much we gonna get? Yeah, it's about that, too, but... Yeah. They're not willing to settle. What? What? So what does that mean? That mean they're willing to take it to court? OK, well, then we'll fight it out in court. There you go. And if we lose, we'll appeal. Uh -huh. And if we lose the appeal, we take it all the way to the Supreme Court. Yeah, we can do that, too, but it's going to be a little bit more. What? Uh, we need to discuss um, about my fee. What are you talking about? You, I, you said you were doing this pro bono. Yeah, I was. We thought we was going to handle it through a settlement, but I mean, do you know how much work goes into preparing for a court case? Because uh, I sure in the hell don't, because I ain't never been to court before. I thought you said you were an attorney. Well, technically, I am. I mean, you know, when I got my degree online, then my printer broke, then I couldn't print my certificate. So we need to discuss um, that $50,000 for my retainer. Retainer? You didn't say nothing about no damn calls. Smitty! $50,000? Are you out your damn mind? Well, hold on now, Jay. Maybe that's a good price. It's a horrible price. Well, damn, Big Lou, that's a horrible price. Yeah. You know what? You know, let, let's call this whole thing off. Smitty, here. Here's your $100 that Obese Burger owes you. Oh, thank you, Jay. Yeah, uh, you got my booth rent? Oh, apparently I do. All right. Well, we good now. Big Lou Kick Rocks. All right. That's fair. Yeah. You know what, before I kick rocks, you guys want to grab a bite to eat? I mean, let's go over to Obese Burger. We can order individually. That way, come out cheaper. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. If you're hungry, you probably ought to go over to Mabel's. You can't get an Obese Burger, but you can sure get obese. <laughs> <laughs> like a little big old family and everything. Hey, I was thinking next weekend, Three of us hit Vegas. Oh, yeah, right? Yes. Mm. And Kenny, you seem like a good dude. I got a great girl I can hook you up with. <laughs> Look, man, I'm not interested in any uh, great girls, you know? <laughs> oh, maybe a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I get him. You got him. <laughs> Listen, Conrad, um, this is going on for far too long. Uh, Angelique and I... We're great, we're great friends. Yeah, he is so protective of me. Hey, you know, yeah. and I appreciate you for that, boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, yeah, listen, man, uh, we have a past, brother, and... Uh... We served in the military together. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I know all about that. Let me salute you for your services. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. <laughs> man, right? Angelique and I slept together, bro. A lot. All the time. And I slept in it so many times, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. All day, all day, man. We slept together. We dated, brother. What the hell is he talking about? Uh, honey, I, I didn't know how to tell you. I, I, look, it was just a minor relationship. Wait, minor? <laughs> we were damn near engaged. Baby. Baby. I am so sorry. I thought Now, what you that thought was... was one of y'all can pull a, a slick one over on me. No. All right? But I ain't no sucker. You think all y'all was going to have y'all little secret rendezvous? You know what? I ain't no sucker. No. I'm out. I'm out. Baby, I'm out. no. Please, baby, I mean, please. Get off oh. of me. Two of y'all deserve each other. Hey, 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 brother. You know, I couldn't help but to overhear you in this situation. Take my car. You really think I got a case? Oh, yeah. Deception, fraud, emotional damage. Let's go somewhere where we can talk. <laughs> Why the hell would you do that? Because I'm still in love with you. Are you saying that you still love me or you're still in love with me? Look, all I know is I want to be with you and I just want to know if you feel the same. Oh. Aloha! Oh, oh, wait! Did you two get back together? Oh. How long have I been gone? No, no, we are not back together. Yet. Oh. Uh, but Miss Mabel, why are you dressed like you went to Hawaii? Because I went to Hawaii. Oh. 
But I tell you, it is so good to be back. I'm gonna get on back in my kitchen and get started on my famous peach cobbler. Mm. You guys want a slice? Mm. I love some. Angelique. Uh, Kenny. 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 Huh? huh? What's up? Are you going to finish cutting his hair or what? Oh, yeah, man, my bad. I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking about... Angelique? Yeah, how'd you know? Because it's been Angelique this, Angelique that. No offense to Angelique, but I don't want to hear another damn word about Angelique. <laughs> you know, that's funny. That's something Angelique was saying. Yeah. Do, do you think it's, you know, too soon to, to get back together? I mean, I think it's the right thing to do? Listen, Kenny, you don't break up with somebody and then get back together. There's a reason it didn't work. But what if the reason was me? I mean... Now I'm older and more mature, you know? It's been a year, and you still live with your daddy. Now, if it was me, I'd stay single and play the field. You never know what kind of card life gonna deal. Hey, what if you get dealt a full house? I mean, why would you want to throw those cards in? Because you might get a royal flush. You gotta keep your options open. Well, I've been playing poker my whole life. I ain't never got a royal flush. Yeah, well, that... That's not the point. The point is, like my daddy used to say, it's a poor rat who only has one hole to crawl in. But isn't it a poor house that got rat holes? It's just a saying, Smitty. Yeah, just a saying. But see, there's also a saying that says, you know, follow your heart. Yeah, yeah, but there's also the grass is always greener on the other side. There's <laughs> also a saying that says, don't go swimming 30 minutes after eating a hot dog. What the hell does that have to do with anything? You talking about your sand, I'm talking about Matt. Hey, excuse me, um, are you though? I don't know, are you the feds? <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm not the feds. My name is Carlton. Oh, what can I do for you, Carlton? Well, see, I, I run a marketing service, and, and mm -hmm. we bring fun games to, to businesses like these to increase their clientele. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking, you know, we can put this on, on face space, and we can blow this whole thing up, social media, everything. I don't play no games. Well, uh, due to my research, it, it, it shows that, you know, small businesses like this can really, really benefit from these games that I'm bringing. You know, I'm talking uh, over 50%. 50%? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Well, I'm, I'm sure you've heard of a trivia night or, or, or karaoke night. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Tina Turner, I do the damn thing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not quite that. <laughs> no, okay. it's, 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 uh, it's actually called the relationship game. You know, it's, it's where couples see who knows each other the best. Okay, like the newlywed game. Like the newlywed game. Okay. Uh, but the winner gets $1,000. Okay. Why don't you let me give you my card and you give me a call? I sure will. Let's go. Thank you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, some other pork chops. Mm -hmm. Lit. I'm talking, I'm still licking my fingers, girl. Oh, thank you, yeah, girl. You know, you know, I make it do what it do. I see hey, you. Hey, guys. Hey. Come on in. You know your regular place is waiting for you. What hey, are you guys thank having? You. So you just got that phone number from that young guy. You're picking them kind of young these days. You're damn right. An old man can't do nothing for me but introduce me to his son. <laughs> but I don't have a son. <laughs> it, it, it's a, a joke, sweetie. I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> no, that young man is going to be bringing a game night here on Wednesdays. It's supposed to bring in more business. Wait, like, like bingo? Uh, no, he said it was uh, the relationship game. And Smitty, you and I are playing. I even know I want to play. Because the prize is $1,000. I want to play. <laughs> Damn! For $1,000, Cheryl and I are in, too. Look, we can hey. get Kenny and Angelique in as well. And my appetizers are going to be a hit. Uh, what are they? Well, they're boneless buffalo bat wings. And they're boneless so you don't have to spit out the little claws. I pass. Well, if we know each other so well, why do we gotta practice? <laughs> Sweetheart, did you hear what I said? There's a thousand dollars on the line. All right, now, now get, get serious, all right? That, um, what's my favorite color? I don't know. I don't know, it's not an answer. 
I can't believe that you don't know my favorite color is green. Green? green. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Yeah, green? Like Kermit. What is my favorite movie? Oh, easy. The Godfather. <laughs> nope. Love Jones. Wait a minute. You told me The Godfather was your favorite movie. Oh, please. I just said that because that's your favorite movie, and I was trying to get along with you that day. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, the Godfather Part Two is my favorite movie. I'm sorry, what's the difference? What's the, the difference? What's the difference? The do, do you even hear yourself? Maybe we should call up Bobby De Niro and ask him what the difference is between Godfather One and Godfather Two. He's not in it. That's the difference. All right, so I got one for you. Bring it. What's my favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Eh. My birthday. Sweetheart. Your birthday is not a holiday, even though you celebrate all week. So, George Washington's birthday is a holiday and not mine? Well, baby, when your face is on a dollar bill, then I'll reconsider. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do this, since we don't know anything about each other. You don't know anything about me. Fine, we don't have to do this, because it sounds like you don't know anything about me either. Well, at least we got that in common. Yes, we got more than that in common. Meet me upstairs. Oh, I'm right behind you. <laughs> What's my favorite food? Ribs. It's my smoked raccoon taco. Oh, but that sounds disgusting. If you want to win this thousand dollars, you got to focus. I am focused, man. The question is, are you focused? Focus. Double quick. All right, I'm ready. What's my favorite sport to play? And what's my favorite sport to watch? OK, your favorite sport to play is golf. And your favorite sport to watch? Basketball. Wrong and wrong. Who is my favorite singer of all time? Oh, that's easy. It's your booth act, Smitty. <laughs> oh, that's cute, but that ain't even close. It's Al Green. So the next time you want some sexy, sultry, late night singing man, to cuddle all up next to you and keep you warm, why don't you call Al Green? What makes you think I don't? <laughs> look, look, oh. there's a contest at Mabel's Tables, and the couple that knows each other best gets a thousand bucks. Yeah, there's just one problem. <laughs> We're not a couple. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll win you back. Oh, uh -huh. win me. What the hell does that no, no, mean? I, I mean, you're a prize. And, oh. and the way I see it, look, we used to date, and we, we know a lot about each other. And, and look, whether we get back together or not, we still get to split a G. Huh? Okay, I'll, I'll roll with you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so so do you think that we still remember everything about each other? I don't know. Uh, let, let's try. Um, uh, who, Who's my favorite ball player? Oh, that's easy. Jordan. Okay, but no, I was thinking about baseball. Jordan played baseball. Okay, oh, see, 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 you know me better than I know myself. <laughs> yes. okay, and, uh, <laughs> your, your favorite number is 10. Yes. Uh, 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 oh, and your favorite song is Always and Forever. Oh, yeah. oh but that's those are superficial things. I mean, what if they ask us something more meaningful? Like, uh, uh, what is the most important thing in my life? Girl, your cell phone. My cell phone? <laughs> Kenny, it's my daughter. I would do anything for my daughter. And like, like, use it to call your daughter. Look, first, you said your daughter was a thing. She's not a thing. She's a person. She's a person, a little person. Mm. Can't say no, a thing. I'm sorry. I just don't think it's a good idea. Okay, look, I, I think it'd be fun, but I, I get it. I get it, you know? Probably scared. I'm not scared. See, I knew you would say that. That's why I signed us up. Hey, what's up? Welcome, everybody. We're here at the new location, Mabel's Table. I'm your host, Carlton Van Patten, and this is The Relationship Game. Yes! <laughs> All right, so folks, it's time to really find out who knows who. All right? So, <clears throat> everybody out there in social media world, feel free to like, comment, subscribe all night long, because it's going down. All right. <laughs> going down. And I want you all here to order lots of food. Make sure you tip my waitresses. And those of you out there in TV land, we do deliver. You do? We do now. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's get started by meeting our first contestants. We have first couple, Jay and Cheryl. Yes! <laughs> I got a little excited. Yeah, a little too excited. Yeah. <laughs> Both hair care professionals. Um, they've been dating for over a year now. Oh, 13 months to be exact. Uh, it's 14. Oh. Save it for the game. 
For the game. For the game. Oh, yes. gonna save that. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to save that for the game. Okay. All right. So, right over here, we have Kitty and Angelique. Hello. <laughs> oh, full of spice. Yeah, yes, I like that. Love All right. It. So, uh, how long have you two been dating? It's complicated. Uh, yeah. but what, what, what she means is that we've been off and on, on so, so it's so hard, hard to, to keep. keep Track of oh. everything. We're together. We're together. We're together. We're together. Yeah. together. <laughs> oh, my. That's, that's good to hear. Oh, very, very energetic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. We love each other. Oh, all right. Our third couple is uh, Mabel, the proprietor of this fine establishment, and her beau Smitty. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's an interesting name. It means Mabel's man in Swahili. Friends with benefits. Okay, and our final couple, the only married couple on the stage right here, <laughs> is uh, relationship experts, mm, Ted and Tammy. Well, I wouldn't say we were experts, but we uh, are. We're published authors and professors specializing in relationships. We got this. Yeah. We're going up against relationship experts? Yeah. We are about to put our foot in their ass. More importantly, put this thousand dollars <coughs> up top. All right, so let's get started. First question is for Jay and Cheryl. Oh. Yes. Uh, Jay, what is Cheryl's birthday? Oh, oh shit. That is a, a July. March 13th. That's it. I got this. I got this. Go on, baby. Show me. I'm going to show him. Okay. I'm going to show him April 18th. Boom! It's upside down, baby. So is this relationship. That's not funny. That's not funny. It, 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 it was only a... It's only a month off. We, sh we should get something for that, right? Sorry, no points for being a month and five days off. <laughs> Okay, Kenny and Angelique. I know his birthday. <laughs> I know hers. <laughs> That's not the question. <laughs> All right, Ooh. so, uh, Kenny, what are the names of Angelique's parents? Um, uh, Joe D. Kenny, we talked about this. You have met them many times. Right, right, right. Uh, 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 Mr. and Mrs. Uh, first names. Baby. Fred? Yes! Fred! Uh, Fred! Oh, yeah. Fred and Wilma. Fred and, Fred and Wilma. <laughs> They're not the Flintstones. It's Fred and Barbara. Fred and Barbara. Hey, 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 we, we can get a half point for that, right? Uh, sorry, no half point. Damn, stupid. Am I a cartoon stupid. to you? No, you're not. All bitch. right. Smitty, what's Mabel's favorite food? <laughs> Ribs. <laughs> Christmas on a wasp cracker. No, Smitty. <laughs> My smoked raccoon taco. We just talked about that. You know I'm not good at listening. <laughs> okay, Ted and Ted. What <laughs> is Tammy's favorite body part on herself? Well, my favorite body part on my baby are her hips. Mm. <laughs> hips. <laughs> but knowing Tammy, she loves her eyes. I Bang. Oh. One point to Ted and Tammy. Cheryl, who is Jay's role model? Oh, I. Uh, wait, 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 man. <laughs> I, got uh, I would we have got to this. say, okay, this, all right, all right. I feel right. Like, <laughs> and I'd say Jackie Robinson. Uh huh. My role model is my father. Ooh. Ooh. Your father, the womanizer? <laughs> Strippers don't count. <laughs> Angelique. Who is Kenny's favorite rapper? I think hmm? it's MC Hammer. <laughs> hammer? Uh, what? Baby, you show me that cute picture of you in the hammer pants. <laughs> My favorite rapper is me. Me. But you want hammer, hammer pants. Oh, damn, I was going through a phase, damn it. <laughs> All right. Baby, what is Smitty's favorite day of the week? That would be Sunday. Smitty loves Sunday. Okay. Because after the church crowd leaves, uh -huh. I go over to his house. Oh, uh, okay. We, 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 don't, we don't need to hear no more of that. Uh, go on, show uh, him Smitty? Home. I don't know. 
You don't know? Well, I thought you was going to say you didn't know. So I tried to outsmart the game, but the game outsmarted me. OK, so his favorite childhood memory was when he was playing ice skating with his friends on his seventh birthday. Remember, man, you told me about when you were black swan on ice, and you were the black swan? One. I skate with my friends on my seventh birthday. Yeah. I know you, baby. I know you. I know you. I know you so well. Another, another point for Ted and Tammy. I mean, we just getting too good. I don't know why you so excited. They about to get you for a thousand. <laughs> Oh, no, they're not. They ain't getting me for no thousand because I ain't paying the prize money. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -mm. Say what now? Then who is? Uh, Mabel's table is, is, is paying the prize money. See, I provide the free game, and Mabel's tables provides the prize money. I don't remember that. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's right here in the fine print. Check this out if you want to. Take yeah, I'm gonna see it. Take a look at that, baby. Mm. Ooh, that's tiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. That's all right. You caught a player slipping. Sorry. Right. Oh, no, you hustled me. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing like that at all, Miss Mabel, because you see all these people, mm -hmm. you know, all that free promotion online, social media, Mabel's tables is blowing up. <laughs> you know? And what you get out of it? Well, just uh, a little free promotion for myself and my company. And a free meal. <laughs> you know, them, them bat wings, lemon pepper, I mean lit. I was like, whoa, fire, <laughs> fire. Woo. Damn, even if we make some money tonight, damn show sure ain't giving up a thousand dollars. And I damn show sure ain't going to jail again. But I'm tempted. All right, everybody, it's down to the final round. Y'all having a good time, right? Yeah! So, Ted and Tammy have quite the lead, but this next answer gains you 10 points. So, uh -huh. that means it's anybody's game. <laughs> I mean, it's not really anybody's game, right? I, OK, no offense, you guys, but it really wasn't fair to begin with, because Ted and I were just. Um, Perfect. Um. No, I was actually going to say equally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, equally. Each other's equally. sentences correctly. Uh, <laughs> trouble in paradise. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, clearly you got plenty of trouble in your paradise. <laughs> OK, final round. This question's for all the fellas. Fellas, mm -hmm. all right. what is your woman's best quality? OK, uh, OK. Now, we got nothing. Why don't we start with the? Double T's. <laughs> Ted and Tammy. I'd have to say her cooking. She's an amazing cook. What? Wow. Cooking? <laughs> so that's all you think I'm good for, is to cook for you? He likes to get too. Smart. Oh, oh. Smart. Oh. 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 Hey, you think you're smart? I mean, you married me, right? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on, hold on. Let's talk about this over one of your meals. <laughs> if one of you gets this right, yes, you win the game. What? Okay. So, what? Jay. Yes. What is Cheryl's best quality? Oh, Nick, I got this. I got this. Uh, her smile. Personality. Baby, what are you smiling about? I got it wrong. Yeah. It is sweet. <laughs> Kenny, what is Angelique's best quality? Well, I, I, I was going to say that you're too overbearing. Uh, okay, he said the best quality. Was the yeah. best quality. I'm getting there. Okay. Uh, well, I, then I realized that, that you weren't overbearing. You're, you're strong. And... Behind every man should be a, a strong woman. So your your best quality is your strength. Oh, wow. Kenny, that's, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Well, Angelique, that's because it's 
It's true. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you, you love me or are you in love with me? I... I'm in love with you. It's, it's passionate. I like it. But we still gonna need that answer though. <laughs> Oh, you said you love me, so... Okay. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> okay. You can't okay. argue with that, you know what I mean? Oh, man. All right. Well, that brings us to you, Smitty, for the win. What is Mabel's best... best quality? You know, you got so many wonderful qualities, Mabel. I'm sorry, baby. I just don't know. Don't be sorry. He don't know. Oh! Oh! We are starting the game! We won! We won! We won! Oh, this is great. Join us next Wednesday, same time, same place. Mabel's tape. Hold up, brother. Uh-uh. I hope you all enjoyed what went on tonight. The game was Thanks. fun. But that's the last time it's going to happen at Mabel's table. <laughs> and like they say in every club in America, you ain't got to go home. But you got to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> There you go, Percy. Ooh, yes. I'm cleaner than Mr. Clean himself, but way more fun. And don't you forget that, can you? Not that we don't appreciate your patronage, but uh, can't Cheryl shave your head at the salon? See, this right here needs a man's touch, Jay. Thank you, Kenny. All right, brother, go head home with all that. Plus, <laughs> I've got to look my very best for the Brendan Brothers Extravaganza Convention, OK? And what the hell is that? Some kind of circus? Close. It's only the biggest hair show in the world. And I'm going to win that whipped hair competition. Y'all hear me? All right, you did it. I'm playing. <laughs> All right. Jesse, there you are. You have hair models lined up waiting for you next door. Oh, I'm so sorry, girl. I had my phone on vibrate while I was over there getting mad. Handled by Kenny. Ciao, mm. boo. I'll catch you. Hey, baby. Hi. I, I didn't realize that you had entered the salon in the competition. Mm -hmm. uh, no offense, but yeah, I feel like those Competitions are a waste of time. Haha, <laughs> see, there's where you're wrong, my friend. The extravaganza is a perfect opportunity for me to introduce my miracle hair mousse to the Brendan Brothers. Did you say miracle hair mousse? Yes, it's something I've been working on. It's all natural ingredients. Let me guess, nuts and berries. Ah, uh, no nuts, you nut. But there <laughs> are exotic berries involved that I'm not sharing any more information. Oh, come no, on. the winner gets a million dollar contract for a new product line, and my moose is gonna steal the deal. Ow. <laughs> it's fine, I'm excited. <laughs> a million dollars? Yeah. All right. Well, how about uh, I give you a call later and we can seal our deals? Yeah. Deal. <laughs> Hey, you guys know those conventions are good for business, right? I mean, the Brendan Brothers, they can help take the business to the next level. I mean, they started off with the good hair oil, oh. and now they balling. <laughs> good hair oil. Ooh, I remember that. <laughs> I've ruined many of sofas and pillowcases in my curl days. So I remember. It's good, though, right? <laughs> well, I can't even lie. <laughs> I pulled many honeys with my Jerry curl. <laughs> Including your mama, Kenny. Hey, man, keep my mama out your oily throwback, bruh. <laughs> what you talking about? Hey, guys. Hey, hey babe. Baby. Guys, I just met the Brendan brothers, and they want me to do some hair modeling. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh, hey, man. Oh, my God. God. Did you guys hear that? Your baby's about to be paid. <laughs> yes, and right now, your baby's about to let you take me to lunch. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I'm about to have lunch with America's next supermodel. <laughs> See y'all. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Ooh. 
Man, talk about that good hair oil. Reminds me of when my granny used to make her own hair elixir. Had my fro growing and the ladies going crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you rocking that big fro way after fro's were played out. Oh, whatever, <laughs> man. My granny called it hair liquor because your hair would just drink it up. <laughs> man, if I knew that recipe, whoo, I bet I could win that million dollars myself. We probably could. Great news, Jay. I found the recipe. Yeah. I already made a sandwich. No, I'm talking about my granny's hair liquor. Really? Really. Turns out it was passed down from my great-great-grandma. You know who Madam C.J. Walker is? Yeah, of course I know who the first black hair industry millionaire is. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. If she's your great-great-grandmother, why are you still broke? No, my great-great-granny was her neighbor's second cousin on a mama's side twice removed. Will you just get to it? Well, it turns out that she had this million-dollar recipe that Madam C.J. Walker wanted to buy from her. And? She died. Your grandmother? They both dead, Jay, duh. But think about how much money brothers like LeBron would pay to have something like this. Smitty, there are a ton of hair products out there that claim to grow hair and don't. But this one really works. Frederick Douglass used to use it. What? <laughs> Enough said. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> we gonna be rich. We gonna be rich. <laughs> what, what, uh, what does it say to do next? Uh, let's see. It says here, add some apple cider vinegar. Damn, all I brought was apple cider. Ah, no worries. <laughs> I got this. Uh, some in the pantry. Might be a little expired. <laughs> That's all right. Vinegar never goes bad. It says exactly half a cup. Breaking bad? Oh my god. <laughs> We're making liquor. Y'all making homemade hooch? With hey guys, there's these places called liquor stores that can make your life a whole lot easier. Yeah, yeah but we making hair liquor. It's gonna revolutionize the hair growth industry. Man, y'all sound crazy. We're in the business of cutting hair, not growing it. Well, think about it this way, Kenny. The more hair they grow, the more hair we could cut. Translation, cha-ching. Oh, like <laughs> uh, guess I didn't think about it like that, huh? Well, I mean, have you tested it yet? Well, uh, no. No, not yet. Yeah. Hmm. If only we had a model. Who, me? Hey, 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 I mean, don't get my girl caught up in all y'all oh, shenanigans. Whoa, 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 Kenny. Kenny, now I'm willing to be their guinea pig if I can get a cut of the business. I mean, the hair care industry makes billions <laughs> of dollars, and I want a cut. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, how much? A billion! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll figure that out later. But right now, we need to get you a bottle. Oh, yes. Baby, are you sure? About Baby, this? yes, if it's bringing in checks, yes. Oh. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like wealth. Yes. <laughs> I am ready to reveal it all! Are you guys ready for this? Oh, what are you about to reveal, Hey, 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 what are you about to reveal, This, 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 this. this. <laughs> Hello, everyone out there on social media world. I am ready to reveal my new 
Jay and Smitty, these two guys are really onto something with their new hair care product, Hair Liqueur. It actually had my hair grow five inches in two days. Damn, oh. she went from Amber Rose to Shaka Khan. Okay, well, not really. But with this Hair Liqueur, I am every woman. <laughs> and ladies, you can be too. You'll get the hair, you won't get the voice, but you will get the hair. <laughs> Yeah, what an amazing product. Mm -hmm. Can I hear me? Yes, you're, you're live. You're yes, I'm live. <laughs> so come on down to Jay's Chop Shop <laughs> and get a free bottle of Smitty and Jay's hair liquor. <laughs> That's right, Smitty. Yep. Uh, with Smitty and Jay's hair liquor, mm. it gets thicker and grows quicker. So quick. That's right, Jay. Your hair can have happy hour all day long. Come on, Smitty, that's kind of corny. Uh, uh, so come on down and, and get yourself a bottle. Get yourself a bottle. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, fans. Smitty, you added my name to the product. I am so touched. Jay, there's room at the top for all of us. Well, thank you, Smitty. Yeah. Right now, I have to go to do a photo shoot with the Brendan brothers. Yeah. Yeah, All that's right. right, that's right. All that's right. right, you better do Bye, it. Bye, y'all. Fabulous, my what? Get it, get it, get it. I'm gonna make that money. I'm make that money. Hey, hey. Kenny. Wait, what you doing? What you doing, man? Celebrating, celebrating, making money. Uh, excuse hey, me. Hey. excuse me. The product is called Smitty and Jay's Hair Liquor, not Smitty, Jay, and Kenny's. Why are you hating, brother? What the? Ah. <laughs> oh. well, well, don't worry, son. You're entitled to some will. Okay. All right, fellas. Mm -hmm. Sing it with me. Yeah. We're making money. Yeah. Hey. We're making money. Oh, we're making money. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't you think we need to win the Brendan Brothers competition first? Oh, that's my son. <laughs> Using the one smart gene I gave you. <laughs> now grab your phone and sign us up. <laughs> hey, here we go. Money, 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 money. Hey, what's wrong, baby? I heard you two decided to start your own hair product business and enter the Brendan Brothers competition. Ah, word travels fast. Uh, duh, Smitty. That's usually the case when you jump on social media live. Oh, you saw it? How we look? <laughs> like a bunch of copycats. You need to stay in your lane cutting hair right here. Oh, what's, what's wrong, sweetheart? You afraid of a little healthy competition? Competition? Yeah. I laugh at you. I've been working on my product almost a year, unlike you two coming up with your little bootleg bull sugar overnight. Hold on, hold on now. Just because it's called hair liquor doesn't mean it's bootleg. That recipe was passed down by my great great granny, and I think we owe it to her to win. Yeah, sweetheart. Yeah, and you're the one that's always talking about black business owners should support each other, right? Mm. A and cut that crab in the barrel mentality. Mm. Um, and what 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 is that positive saying that you're always saying? There's room for us all at the top. You win, I win. I win. You win, I win. <laughs> and when we win, you won't have to worry about me doing what you accuse many successful black men of doing. What? Dumping your beautiful, supportive black woman for Becky? Who's Becky? Is she cute? Nope. Don't worry, guys. Huh? Because my miracle hair moves will win. When I become a millionaire, mm -hmm. I wouldn't think of dumping you for a white guy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> However, I will for a younger chocolate stud. Or Marcus. Marcus, darling. Wait, who, it, who, who's Marcus? Marcus. All right, let's see him. All right, come on, I'll take that. Let me see your hand. There you go, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Woo, woo, here you go. One more, one more. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get your money, girl. Come on now. Right, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> y'all ain't playing up in here, huh? Oh, no, honey, we here to win it. All right, you best believe it. Girl, show them what the competition gonna have to deal with. Okay. Yes, spin around. 
<laughs> all right? It is lit, literally, Jay. Okay, you see that? Yeah, I see it. I see it. It's all right. All right, looks good. So, uh, what brings you by, Jay? Well, baby, you've been giving me the silent treatment for a week now. I just thought I'd come by and tell you that I miss you, and good luck. Thank you, Jay. Mm-hmm. I miss you, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm on a mission. And you coming over here smelling all good and sweet-talking me is not going to make me break my focus. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you, Cheryl, of all people, shouldn't be afraid of a little friendly competition. Oh, I can handle it. OK. But my clients no longer need weaves because their hair is going crazy. <laughs> Competition is messing with my bottom line. So now, if you will excuse me, the judges will be here soon, and I've got to get ready. Oh, no problem, no problem. We're having a little hair happy hour next door anyway. So, um, good luck, baby. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by uh, Percy's little mohawk hair, looking like silly Manili, <laughs> I say we have another satisfied customer. Mm -hmm. yes, Somebody's <laughs> hair been sipping on a little scissor. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Go. Woo. Yes. Go. Get. Oh. Percy, can I talk to you? For what? Can I just talk to you for a oh, second? girl. How you doing? I've been better. Oh. <laughs> uh, has your hair been sipping on that scissor? What you mean, girl? You know, I look the same, don't I? Not even. Well, maybe I took a shot of it. Yeah. The whole bottle. I need to get you some, boo. The manager's in the back. It's looking real crazy. You still my girl, though. You still my girl. Somebody die? Jay, I'm just dressing for success. And this is my attorney. Uh, Smitty, not another bootleg attorney. We, we, we've been through this, man. Bootleg? I'll be careful with that defamation of character, brother. <laughs> Ronnie M. Jacobs, Esquire. Please to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jacobs. Es Jacobs, Esquire. Wait a minute, you're an Esquire and your last name is Esquire? No different if your last name was uh, Bob and you just happen to be a Bob. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so what do I owe this visit? Well, I got to thinking about it, Jay. Uh -huh. And it seems to me like since we got a pretty good chance of winning this contest, I thought we ought to get our business affairs in order. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You need to bring over an attorney for that? Well, I thought it would be best. You know, I've been watching Shark Tank, Jay, and I have seen how partnerships can ruin friendships. <laughs> have you been drinking our product? No, I have not. And Mr. Jacobs Esquire has agreed to put together a provisional business agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This spells out uh, your business venture in detail. Should we, uh, should you yeah. win that contract with the Brendan Brothers? <laughs> All right? I just need you to read and sign. 70-30 split? A Smitty to be larger than Jay in our new improved logo. What the hell is this? Oh, I think it's very clear, Jay. <laughs> Smitty, what happened to all the talk about equal partners, huh? Sharing is caring? Jay, I am entitled to a larger percentage and a larger font on that logo. This recipe comes from my family bloodline, and I am entitled to my fair share. Oh. Oh, per paragraph four. <laughs> yeah, B shut it. <laughs> Hey, Smitty, did you forget that it was my apple cider vinegar out of my pantry that we used to create this concoction, huh? And it was my barbershop that you tried to sell it out of. That alone uh, should entitle me to half. He, he got a point there, Smitty. Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, take my business card. Give me a card. Shut up, Ronnie. Jay, I can't believe you're going to go greedy on me. Out of the goodness of my heart, I try and share with you my wealth, and this is how you're going to do me? What? Are you out your damn mind? This is just like when we was 12 years old, and I got that new bike. Oh, and you tried to take my bike. I didn't want to go on that bike. I put the on that bike. What's up? Jay is unappreciative of my generosity. <laughs> and Smitty here is trying to give me 30% of a product that I helped launch. Oh. Uh, uh, hey, hey, how you doing? Uh, Ronnie M. Uh, Jacobs, Esquire. Oh, you're from the hey, radio commercial. That's me. That's, oh. Matter of fact, uh, listen, here, take my card. 
Uh, don't use the one that's crossed out on the front, flip it on the back. Use that one. Okay. All right, I ain't had the news printed out uh, yet. Uh, okay. You guys should actually think about letting him represent you in a potential class action lawsuit. What are you talking about, Angelique? You guys need to think twice about entering this hair product business and stick to what you know, barbering. Why do you say that? Because your product almost ruined my hair. Every time I touch it, every time I try to comb it, it just... It falls out. Uh, oh! Ooh. <laughs> no, that couldn't be the reason. I mean, he, uh, he, we never consulted a chemist or, or did a, a proper trial study here. Well, uh, you know, luckily, uh, my baby looks good with her short, sexy little oh, haircut, oh, man. Thank but, you, man. But you guys need to be prepared to get some uh, people their money back, man. I'm just saying. Sounds like some disgruntled customers going to be in need of a good lawyer. Heck yeah. And remember, when you find yourself in life's muck and mire, call the law office, Ronnie M. Jacobs. Esquire. Esquire. I will call oh. you. Uh, you was the you one with the rancid apple cider vinegar. How it long had that not, been there? It was only there for a little while. It was just like... What's it? What? Came back here. Oh. I got the church finger up. Uh, no. Okay. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I don't... What the... Hey, babe, let me get that from you. I'm running low on him, but I'll uh, hey. work something out. I hope you had work out. Hey. I mean, uh, work back in. He didn't mean that. You're looking good. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Are you guys gonna sit here and just pout around all day? I don't have nothing to say to him. I wouldn't want to hear it if you did. <laughs> all right, look, I'll admit, Jay, that I was wrong and I owe you an apology. And? And don't you have something to say? Oh, yeah. I owe you an apology, too. 30% of an apology. <laughs> Hey. Look, come on, guys. Can you guys just kiss and make up so we can get back to normal, please? All right, Jay, look. I will admit I should have done more research on my great great granny's recipe. Turns out that the temporary hair growth and hair loss was the reason Madam C.J. Walker told her to kick rocks with her product. All right. And I'm sorry, too, for thinking I deserve. 50% of a venture that you brought to the table. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Shut up, Kenny. Damn. Say hello to the new face of Brendan Brothers Hat Cat Products. Oh, that's oh, that's yeah. so good. Y'all believe it? My woman's gonna be the next America super top model. Well, oh, not exactly, oh. but I'm really excited. <laughs> hey guys! Oh, wow. I just stopped by to show off my trophy. Uh, <laughs> you mean our trophy? <laughs> yeah, 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 our trophy. Although we didn't win the million dollar product deal, the check for five thousand dollars <laughs> make it worth. <laughs> You mean 2500 girl. You got to split that with me. <laughs> no, I love you. Since, um, since you didn't become an instant millionaire, I, I guess you won't be leaving me for a younger guy, huh? <clears throat> I'll see you later. Mm. <laughs> you won't be leaving this. Like the quick hands. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Percy. Oh, I'm coming. Bye, guys. I'm coming. <laughs> Bye, Shane. You, you next. Come on. Come on, let me cut you. I'm good. No, 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 no. Come on. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> Baby, what's going on? I have never seen you this into a book before. You act like I don't like to read. No, I didn't say you didn't like to read. You used to read those gossip rag magazines like the Inquisitor. Oh, that's only because you got them for me for Valentine's Day. Thanks. Well, flower style. That was a practical gift because you use it. Well, I am reading this to discuss at our Salon Book Club meeting. We have decided to challenge ourselves and do better and read more books this year. All right. Salon Book Club, huh? Yes. We've decided to form a book club so that we can find more engaging ways to stimulate our mind. There's so much junk and catfighting on TV these days. 
Yes. Hus <laughs> Hustler wives need love, too. That sounds really intellectual. Mm -hmm. Plus, picking up a good book offers fun escape away from watching the boob tube. Well, you know, there's a lot of good channels on the old boob tube, including the ones with the big boobs. <laughs> okay, no snap back. <laughs> For the last sexist comment I just made? Shh. It's that voice. I'm getting to the good part. That's what I'll try to do. Get to the good part. <laughs> Ow. any of the characters. Oh, please. These characters were so relatable, especially yes. Winston. He reminded me so much of Jay. Mm. <laughs> Winston reminded you of Jay? Yeah. Girl, you know they got something for that now. I keep them blue pills on lock. <laughs> <laughs> that only happened. What? Say what? Twice. Mm. OK, wait. That's funny. <laughs> I meant the complete know-it-all part, the control freak. Oh, God, uh, Kenny. Kenny is definitely his father's son. He is a complete control freak. Mm. He keeps this death grip on the remote control. It's like he has to keep his alpha male ego intact, as if that's the reason that I love him. But isn't that the reason that you were attracted to him, his alpha male ego? Maybe. Okay. No, but so what? I mean, <laughs> she always in here yipping and yapping about her man problems. Shoot, at least she got one, well, you know? We all know that I do love an alpha, kappa, sigma, and omega male. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's come on. Let's get back to the book discussion. Okay. All right. So, what was the most pivotal moment in the story? Oh, when control freak Winston mm -hmm. discovers Desiree's little side hustle. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. so, yeah. don't yeah. worry. Yeah. Come yeah. on, yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. wait. All kind of big tips for everyone. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's intended. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I ain't mad at her. I said, make your money, girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Wait a minute. All money, not good money now. I have to disagree with that. Money is money, honey. That's how I was able to start my own business. What? From what I heard, Mabel used to serve it up back in the day. And I ain't talking about pie. Okay. Oh, stop. Big old mouth. Mabel! You did that? No, no. Hey, it ain't like the stripping of the day where they be eh, 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 eh. none of that. This was classic. This was strip tease. They did it in burlesque shows, honey. And it was a very short but very lucrative time in my life. Damn it. That sounds like you had a hell of a pass. Mm. Trust and believe. I done did a little bit of everything back in the day. <laughs> Shoot, I could write a book. Huh. Well, maybe it got me thinking about doing a little side hustling myself. Because, you know, I could make a grip shaking this money maker. You know? You ain't got to say nothing, baby. Anytime you want, I will put in a referral for you at the fuzzy name. No, nah, I'm going to keep my private dance in private. I need to keep that at the house. <laughs> yes. Shut up. Shut and up. this thing, what you uh -oh. over here laughing on, at? Giggles. So funny. Come on, Giggles. Okay, I was just, I was, I was thinking about um, this little role play thing yeah. that me and Kenny do, <laughs> where he does his private dance for me. Uh. And I make it rain one dollar dollar bills, y'all. Right. 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 No, no, look, Smitty does the same thing, only we use Monopoly money. Oh, okay, save your cash. Right. Save. Exactly. Okay. Right. Go straight to jail. Go no. <laughs> no, straight to jail. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is that this can go on forever. Yeah. But I, I have to close up shop. We will resume this next week. Okay. Uh -huh. And we will actually talk about the, the book. book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, read up, read up. Think you know somebody until you learn something from their past that changes the whole image of them. Now, are we still talking about the book or are we talking about shop gossip? The book, Jack. 
Well, I don't know, because you ladies, you gossip enough that you could write your own best-selling novels. Oh, please. Like, you guys don't do the same thing while you cutting hair. I know what goes on over there. <laughs> of course you do, Jay. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Yeah, sure, no, Cheryl, no more salt, please. I like sure. flavor, Jay. Yeah, I know what you like, but I also know what you need, baby. How's it feel? How's what feel? Knowing it all. Mr. Know-it-all. Ah, here we go. I'm the one that taught you this recipe, Jay, remember? All right, all right. Well, add more salt. Shake, shake, shake away. Shake right. it, shake it. I love it. More I shake love it. it. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, God. Talking about shaking just reminded me of something what Mabel said. What'd she say? Yeah, uh, I can't tell you. It is Privileged Information Book Club only. All right. <laughs> Well, don't. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can't believe you're not going to tell me. Come on, Cheryl. Hey, what's a, a little secret between you and me? <laughs> okay. Promise not to tell. Peaky square. <laughs> <laughs> Scouts are, even though I wasn't a scout. <laughs> okay. Mabel Share that she used to shake her goo thing for cash, and that's how she opened up her business with that money. Who? <laughs> no! <Yes>. No! <laughs> Mabel, wait, wait a minute. It's a secret. Shh. You always call yours in here. Oh, my gosh. But if Mabel used to shake it for cash, I, I can't even imagine Mabel making it rain. No, don't look at it. Don't Drizzle, look at it. yes. Rain, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. She also shared while we're on the subject. Uh-huh. That she oh, likes God. to make it rain on Smitty Yo. when he's doing his private dancing with Monopoly money. No, 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 no. You stop cooking. I just lost my appetite. Oh, come on. I think it's cute. If that's how you keep the spice in the romance. Mm -hmm. Guys, and if that doesn't work, girlfriend also has a stash of blue pills. Just in case. Blue pills? <laughs> she, she told you that? We shared things. Yeah. Well, you didn't happen to share with her her little mishap. The other night, did you? Mm-mm. <laughs> Lizzie. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think these guys are using the book club as an excuse to gossip and put our business on the street. Since when do women need an excuse to gossip? It's in their DNA. It's just what they do. It's harmless. Oh, uh, yeah? Then it was okay for Mabel to yak about making it rain with Monopoly money? Can, can we do that? Yeah, apparently so, Smitty. Uh, you care to share? Look, well, what Mabel and I do in privacy is our business. But if she wants to shower me with pink, green, and baby blue dollars, that's up to us. <laughs> oh, by the way, don't you ever talk about what you just heard, all right? <laughs> uh, look, Smitty, clearly what you two do is not private. And that goes for all of us. Well, man, I'm glad my baby don't get caught up in none of that foolishness. I mean, you know, not that she has much to gossip about anyway, you know? Babe, I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you. Why? You know, I heard we went down at the uh, book club meeting, and I'm just glad you didn't get caught up in all that beauty shop gossip. Well, babe, most of the time we were just discussing the books, but, you know, those discussions can sometimes lead to personal reflection, but I'm, I'm not really one to gossip. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I told the guys at the shop. You... You were talking about our business with Jay and Smitty and a bunch of people that I didn't know? No, no, all I told them that you know better than to put our business out in the street, you know? You, what did you just say? Did you just say I know better? What the hell is that? No, no, all I'm saying is that you know you know better than to you, you know, know start jaw jacking wow. all these females in Percy. I mean, I mean, come on, man, you know I don't play that. Well, can I get the remote control no, back, No, control please? freak, you cannot get the remote control back. Matter of fact, we're about to watch Ayanla because I'm going to need her to fix your life. No, whoa, 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 hey, come on, come on. No! I should be able to talk about my life or anything pertaining to my life whenever or wherever I want to, Kenny. Hey, well, it goes both ways, Angelique. I mean, how would you like it if I told folks about your fear of spoons? I don't have a fear of spoons. I have a fear of sports. Oh, it's completely different. A spork is a, a mutant hybrid between a spoon and a fork. It has horns, Kenny. Oh, it's just weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird for a grown man to have cool phobia. Look, why would you even bring that up? That's a real thing, you know. You're a grown-ass man. Who's afraid of clouds? <laughs> really, really. Yeah! Oh, come on! Why you do that? I 
can't believe my son has coulrophobia. If that's an STD, he better not have gave it to my daughter. That's all I know. Oh, fool. Means he's afraid of uh, clowns. So what's it mean when you're afraid of stilt walkers? Man, I don't know. Yo, why? Because that's what I got. Damn it, Jay. Man, this coat rack keep breaking. We needed some upgrades, man. Well, I'll tell you what. How about I hire a stilt walker handyman to fix it? How about that? Very funny, Jay. You know what? Never mind. I'll fix it like I've been fixing everything else around here for the last five years. Ain't nothing a little bad bone super glue won't fix. Oh man, I wouldn't mess with that. that that's pretty hardcore stuff. I seen the commercial where the guy with glues the guy his with hand the hard, with hard hat. hat. Yeah, and he yeah. glues it to a tree branch. He's hanging over a baboon cage with his feet dangling. Yeah, that's one. That's Jay, one. don't be silly. What? That's just a commercial. They just doing that to sell you the glue. I don't know, man. I wouldn't mess with it. Look, you do what you do. I do what I do. Well, all right. All right. Well, right now, I'm going to take Cheryl out tonight. That damn book club drama has uh, put a damper on our quality time. Well, it's Saturday night. You go hang out with Cheryl, I'm gonna hang in here and fix this coat rack. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Just don't forget to lock up. I won't. All right. Where is that glue? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's it. Ah. All right, let's see here. Number one, apply sparingly to surface. <laughs> Number two, hold it in place for 30 seconds. That's easy enough. Number three, be careful, super glue bonds to skin in seconds. <laughs> Y'all should have made that number one. Baboon glue really does work. <laughs> oh, I know what I could do. I could gnaw my arm off. Get it up by the wrist. Ain't no meat there, just gristle. <laughs> That's crazy, Smitty. You need your arm. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, what are you doing here so early? Yeah, and on a Sunday. Just yoga, a little bit of yoga. When did you start doing yoga? Today, no time like the present. And why not at home? Oh, Jay, you got me. I got a confession to make. You remember the other day when I said I was gonna fix this coat rack? Yeah. Um, I let you down. I didn't get to it, so I, I thought I'd Come back in here today on my day off and get to fixing it. What you guys doing here? Oh, man, we're heading down to Mabel's for Sunday brunch when Mabel's? we go to the auto show. Yeah, and I've stupid me forgot the tickets. Oh, damn, I never missed that. I got an extra ticket. Cheryl was going to come, and then she got her head stuck in that book. Yeah, no. You guys go ahead and go together. Ain't nothing like a little quality bonding time. <laughs> yep, word is bond. <laughs> go on, get on out of here. Go have a good time at the auto show. Go on. Right. Go on, go on, get it. Hey, y'all. What y'all doing here? I thought I saw your car outside. Well, I could ask you the same thing. Uh, well, it was a cold red emergency weave. It was a cat fight at the club last night. His sister had to get her hair done before church this morning. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. You know, God don't like ugly. I, mean, I, saw, I see okay. you're caught up in the little book club thing, too, huh? Child, this book is off the hook. Y'all got to read it. I wish I was off the hook. What are you talking about, Smitty? Uh, the, the name of the book. Off the hook, right? That's off the hook. Hell, I don't know the name of the book. Who cares? So you admit it. You're only in the book club meetings to gossip. And what makes you think that, Jay? Because I know. That's right, you are Mr. Know-it-all. Ah, there you go. <laughs> you wouldn't have known that if Cheryl didn't run her big mouth. Look, damn it, okay, I know more about you and you than I care to even know, especially your little arachnophobia. I mean, who knew Kenny was afraid of snakes? Hey, 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 look, first of all, it's arachnophobia. It's the fear of spiders. I'm a man, bruh. Afraid of no damn spiders. I'm afraid of clowns. 
And you're not afraid to admit that? Mm. Okay, listen. Percy is not gonna infiltrate the book club, okay? What happens there stays there. But I can be persuaded. Uh, anybody got change for a hundred? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got over... Uh, just kidding the whole thing. Quit being cheeky. For the whole hundred, I'll even wear a wire. You just happen to have a wire? Oh, yes, because see, Percy doesn't trust anybody. And if you cheat on me, you will get caught. Tell the boys. <laughs> Oh, that's right. That's right. Is that you? Oh, Is that you? Smitty. Oh. Smitty, Smitty, it's, it's me. Are you okay? It's, it's oh. Kenny. Oh, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Did, did Winston and Desiree get back together? What? Uh, I admit it. I, Percy left his book and I, uh, I'm glued. To the book? No, to this book, man. I've been here for the last two days. It's that baboon super glue, Jay. It really works. Oh, jeez, Smitty. Why didn't you say something when we were here on Sunday? I was too embarrassed. I thought I could break free, Jay, but I'm a fool. I'm a damn fool. Oh, damn, Smitty. Look, all you had to do was pop up the hood. Pop it look, up. Look, man. Yeah. See? I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Oh. Smitty, you stink. I got to pay one of you. Oh, man. I guess Smitty's been surviving off, off this apple juice. Kitty, that's not apple juice. Now, by a show of hands, who loved this? Who loved it? Loved it. Listen, that little Miss Desiree, now she was the real hustler. Oh, and I, I enjoyed the book, but it kind of put a wedge between me and Kenny. Oh, uh, how so? And take your time and speak clearly, Angelique. Well, he was complimenting me mm. on not talking about him or his business. Then the next thing I know, he starts freaking out, you know, and just... And you are calling him a control freak. Mm. Mm. I don't want to talk about it. Mm. It kind of made things tense between Jay and I, too. Why? Because you're here talking about your man in front yeah. of all of us, Cheryl? Yeah. And that he might be coming up a little bit. I didn't say that. Sure. Uh, Cheryl, I keep telling you, I got what you need. You don't need that. So, Cheryl, what you're saying is that Jay doesn't know how to. No, I, I, no, what no, was I know. that? I don't know. What was what? What's that sound? What's that sound? I don't know that sound. <laughs> I don't know it. I'm gonna run to the mall, lady. Sit back. your ass down, cause I'm not. Oh, you got a wire. I needed the money. Who put you up to this? Uh, Jay, please come help me. Right now they got me. I'm exposed. Huh. Clearly, Jay, you got too much damn time on your hands. A wire? Really? <laughs> oh, save it, sister. God, you guys, you guys are not talking about the book at all. You're talking about us. And that ain't cool. Well, of course we're talking about you. That's what we do. But you guys do the same thing. You need, you need to quit trip. Yeah, Y'all shouldn't be over here gossiping about people's psychological issues. No, Kenny, please. Nobody cares about your fear spiders. It's clowns, damn it. Clowns. And this is, this is a proven medical condition. Look, if y'all so worried about what we're talking about, take a seat and join in the discussion. Yeah. Yeah. OK. What have we learned about the book? <laughs> well, I think the storytelling and unique setting just uh, had a way of making me relate to the lead characters. It just pulled me into the story. Exactly, yeah. right? Oh, and chapter seven had me rolling. Oh. I thought it was just so clever how the author inserted comic relief after back-to-back -back tragedy. Oh. oh, the laughter, you guys, was so cathartic. Oh, oh I love art. I know what you mean, because you know what? I did not want this story to end. I just, Me oh. either. Oh, um, just, really? Ladies, ladies and uh, gentle man, um, I, I'm glad you enjoyed the book, and thank you for sharing. And um, we are sorry we underestimated your purpose for your 
gathering. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, we, we about to be out, you know. Uh, uh, babe, call me, or not. No. Nope. Uh, I hope you do. Yeah, I'll call you later, for sure. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and take this snitch with you. Oh, hell no. <laughs> After what we dealt with today, he's sticking with y'all. <laughs> uh, baby, uh, I'll call you later. Give me my pet. See how they do you. We still love you, baby. Yeah. They done left you behind. So what you were saying about Jay now? Can I do a reference in the book? Yes! <laughs> All right, Smitty. What the hell are you up to this time? Jay, I finally got to the end of the book, and it's everything you could hope for. So, uh, how did it end? Oh, I can't tell you. You got to read it for yourself, or you got to join the book club. Oh, hell no. <laughs> that, that's not gonna happen. Come on, we're gonna get something to eat at Mabel's. Yeah. I would love to get some of Mabel's deep dish possum pot pie. It's only one problem, and I'm not too proud to admit it. I sat on the last of that tube with a baboon super glue. <laughs> Give me strength. Oh, man. <laughs> well, that baboon glue really does work, doesn't it? Yeah. And, uh, Percy, <laughs> how's my favorite little profit center doing? Fine. Well, that didn't sound too fine. <laughs> and if there's one thing I know, it's to stay the hell out of other people's business, so I'm just gonna let myself out. <laughs> well, at least you know how to stay out of other people's business, Jay. I know you did. No, you're not about to throw a little tantrum up in here just because you didn't get your way. Um, excuse me. I am not throwing a tantrum, and I am not getting my way. What you're I'm not. trying to do is improve this business, but you won't hear me out. That's yeah, well, if it's about making more money, yeah, how bad can it be? <laughs> Don't you come up in here and automatically get on his side. No, baby, no, I was just... you need to remember who you coming home to. Yeah, yeah. You know what, Jay? Uh, you can tell Cheryl, if she doesn't appreciate my business, then me and the Percy experience can go uh, Okay, oh. I'll... Mm -hmm. but, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, listen, I... Well, we uh, appreciate you, man. Oh, you do? And, yes, and we would hate to lose it. Mm -hmm. I mean, lose you. I... Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna be going. No, 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 no. See, there you go again, taking sides. No, I'm no, I'm I got a solution. Yes, I do. No, I do. Uh -huh. Okay, since you want his business so much. No, no, no. Yes, you do. So why don't you take him and his little feng shui over to the barber shop? Oh, no, 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 no. no. That, 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 that's not, that's oh, yes. Work. See, but, that sounds better than good. Yeah. From now on out, the Percy experience <laughs> will now be available in my best friend, Jay's Chop Shop. Oh, God. <laughs> Who is the best movie character athlete? Huh? Come on. <laughs> Come on. You brothers find the most random things to debate. It's Joanna Man. That's wow. Wow. He had to play in heels. <laughs> Speaking of Joanna Man, <laughs> I I have a little announcement to make. Hold on, hold on. Any sentence that starts with speaking of Joanna Man can't end well. <laughs> but it can't be any worse than how my morning started. Oh, you too? Well, yeah, uh, mine isn't bad news. It's it's just it's just news. Well, what's wrong with me? I got four parking tickets this week. Oh, been there, done that. <laughs> Take my advice. Pay the two figures to the city now or two packages of cigarettes to Twan later. <laughs> well, before I can pay them off, I get another one, no matter where I park. I feel like a parking thug. <laughs> hey, that's funny. You should change your name to Two Park. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, anyways, uh, yo, Jay, what was that news you were talking about? Oh, um, <laughs> we're, we're gonna be adding the stylus to the shop. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Jay. Hey, we can use a little feminine energy up in here. Yeah, and that's yeah. exactly what you're gonna get. Well, Jay, I don't know. I like it when it's just the guys. Yeah, well, um, you're, you're gonna have the best of both worlds. <laughs> it's Percy. What? what? Uh, Percy. Who? Percy, damn it, Percy. Percy? Percy. It's only for a short step, you know, till he works out some professional differences with Cheryl. And, and trust me, you won't even know he's here. <laughs> How 
can you not notice Percy? I mean, he's the only person I know that stretches out the word hey by five to ten seconds. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, man. Hey! Point taken. Yes. Well, you were right, Jay. I barely noticed a thing, <laughs> except for the chandelier. Yeah, and all this uh, flamboyantness. Eli, I don't want to do too much, fellas. I want to keep kind of simple. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, uh, Percy, it's fine. As long as it doesn't interfere with the other barbers. Jay, Percy doesn't interfere. Percy only enhances. OK, bask in it, fellas. This is what I like to call the full Percy experience, which includes visual stimulation, aromatherapy, and a vast array of hair designs by yours truly. Get your boy, Jay. Get your boy. Yeah, listen. Listen, Percy, um, I assured the other barbers that you wouldn't be intrusive at all. Intrusive? Yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> listen, my clients expect a certain thing when they come to see me. The full Percy experience has to be guaranteed, Jay. But I promise you, they will benefit for everybody. <laughs> Especially the ladies. What? What? Oh, could be cool, man. What, what do they get in here, man? I can use a little uh, eye candy. I'm not kidding. You know, I can't have my girls coming up in here without a proper place to be seated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's where we used to play domino. Oh, uh, operative word? <laughs> used to. <laughs> That's two words. Well, y'all didn't think that was funny, huh? Oh. Get your boy, Jack. Get yeah. your boy. Ladies, welcome to the Percy Experience. Come on in, have some champagne. Talk about the men that don't want anything to do with you, okay? You come and sit in my chair, you do. Damn, you see that? Yeah, how could I miss it? Hips look like she's smuggling pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, Jake, man, what's up with the flowers in the bathroom, man? It smells like a beauty salon up in there. See, Percy, you're doing it already. No, Jay, your clients are very primitive. See, sage balances out the chakras. Hey, it's cool, though, man. Don't wipes be on point, though. Wipes? <laughs> Don't judge me. I like wipes. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the Percy Experience. Smitty, where are you going? To the bathroom. I like wipes, too. That's right, Smitty. Oh. Rufus, what you doing in my apartment again? Technically, this is my crib, and I'm here to fix the sink that's leaking again. But I didn't make that request. The people below you did. Your floor is dead silly. Plus, I don't have HD in my apartment. <laughs> well, you scared me, man. I thought you might be a government agent coming to get some info from me. Why? What, you beefing with the government? No, oh, government beefing with me. This parking ticket? Yeah, I got three new ones today. You know the government used parking tickets to track people who they're trying to keep an eye on. You get parking tickets, too? Oh, I used to get a lot of them back in the day. Got so many, they took me to jail. Who knew that a bench warrant mean they wanted you to come to court? I thought it meant to sit my ass down. Well, I don't want to go to jail. I wonder what they want with me. That's why I'm getting rid of my phone and keeping nothing but this beeper. Well, how you know the government isn't tapping into your beeper? Good point. Big brother. Well, I, look, I'm not a threat. What should I do? If I was you, I'd keep a low profile. And if you go in public, stay off the grid. Oh, you mean like don't use a cell phone and wear a disguise? Yes, that's what I do. Kept me from being with the law. They ain't found me in years. See, I wear these glasses. And ever since I've been wearing them, I ain't had no problem with the law. See, I thought you had to use those glasses to see. No. See, they don't see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? Another satisfied customer from the Percy Experience. Get up and show them what you're working with, girl. Yes. All right, now. Turn around, puppy girl. All right, now. All right, enough of that. You're going to be trying to take some of my men. Let me get you some champagne. Let me have a seat, sweetie. Here. Come You're all done. You can leave now. Get the hell out. Uh, Kenny? Hmm. Don't you have some work to do? Nah, I ain't got no customers. I'm just sitting back enjoying the Percy experience. <laughs> 
Hey, yo, Percy. Uh -huh. Hey, how many more you got shooting through? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Kenny. Ladies! Come on in, girls. Welcome to the Percy Experience. Oh. How you doing? Come on. Here, I want you ladies to go enjoy some champagne, caviar. I want you in my seat. You look fabulous. Come on in. Talk about the stars. Yeah, uh, Percy, can I speak to you for a second? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I thought you said the changes that you were going to make were subtle at best. Oh, Jay, don't you understand? This is all part of the Percy, Percy Experience. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you realize this is only temporary, right? Yeah, it's temporary. And since we're talking temporary, I think I need to move my chair to your side. I need that window so everybody can see me. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, you lost your damn mind. That's what I think. And that's not going to happen. Listen, how long is this Percy experience going to last, huh? Have you even talked to Cheryl? Cheryl? Cheryl who? <laughs> Cheryl. Oh, no. Listen, when Cheryl wants to apologize to me, she knows exactly where to find me. This is so... Yes, my sweetheart. <laughs> Little something to brighten your day? Thanks. Yeah. What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> no. Can't a fella bring his lady flowers just because? You mean just because you want me to make up with Percy? No. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I should still get credit for the flowers. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Listen, Jay. <clears throat> I've worked hard to make this shop my own. I know, and babe. I don't want Percy or anybody else coming in here trying to change my vision of my salon. No, yeah, I don't think he wants to change everything. And before you say I'm taking sides, I'm not. Percy has some really good ideas. Mm -hmm. Like what? Yeah, well, we have the nicest men's bathroom in the whole city. <laughs> There's stuff in there I don't even know how to use yet. Well, yeah, he does have some good ideas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a whole Percy experience. Oh, he's got you saying it, too. Yeah, yeah look, I, I know he's sorry at the way he came at you. He just doesn't know how to tell you. Did he say that? Well, he said, well, you know what? Why don't you just go next door and talk to him? You're friends. We're friends. No, no, baby. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You're right. I should just accept the fact that Percy's beautiful, intelligent, flirtatious clients are there to stay. Uh-huh. Put your chin up. Go ahead. Clock it that way? No. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. Yeah. I do miss Percy. Mm -hmm. He does keep the shop around. <laughs> and those wipes are the bomb. Right? <laughs> wow, this place looks fabulous. <laughs> Champagne, Cheryl. <laughs> No, please don't bother. See, this is all part of the Percy experience. I'll have some myself. <laughs> well, you know, Jay said there was something you wanted to say to me. Hmm. Oh, really? Jay, was there something that I said that I had to say to her? Yeah. You remember you you said uh, what you were saying about um, missing your very good friend? <clears throat> Jay, mm -hmm. I knew you made that up just to get me over here. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I'm glad. Miss Percy, I miss you. I miss you too, girl. Yeah. 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 Girl, the fun swing in here is all wrong, you hear me? I thought being over here with all these roughnecks was gonna be good, but baby, the grass is not greener on the other side. Never yeah. is, never is. Cheryl, take me back, please. Okay. <laughs> and then maybe you can implement some of the Percy experience. Oh, yeah, I was thinking we could bring this chair, first of all, oh, you no, know. No, and no, no, no. No, 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 no. Disco ball? <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> yes. Hey, how about you guys go to the salon and hug it out? <laughs> I have people to cut. Oh, you know what? We will do that, Jay. All right. But I'll come back to get my thing. Yes, yes. you will. Yes, you will. <laughs> mm, love you. Oh, grab the champagne. Oh, I almost forgot. Come on, y'all. Y'all paying me. Y'all not paying him. Let's go. <laughs> OK. Ladies first, don't forget. <laughs> oh, damn. There ain't nobody to cut. Jay, look, just take a little bit off the top, OK? Don't mess my hairline up, man. Look, man, do you even on. have any money, man? Hey, Smitty. What? <laughs> they might hear us. <laughs> Who's they, man? And, and why are you wearing a disguise? Look like a fake-ass Steve Harvey. I figured it out. Why this big conspiracy is going on? Why I'm getting all these tickets? And why is that, Smitty? Because you remember when the last president bailed out the car industry and all of a sudden all them cars got real cheap for a while? That's when I bought my car. You got a 78 Buick. And the government trying to get back all that money I saved. They's following me. Smitty. 
That is ridiculous. No, it's not. Okay. Listen, you remember that movie when uh, the satellites were following Will Smith? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They watching me. Okay, okay look, Smitty, if, if you're wearing a disguise, why would you drive your own car? How you know I drove? Okay, well, Smitty, look. If you didn't drive your own car, someone with the car looks just like yours got booed off. <laughs> See? Couldn't have been anything else. I filled that meter right up before I came here. Ain't no way it ran out. Smitty Kate, continue. Smittygate's still in full effect. The meter got an hour on it. I already got a boot on my car. Yeah, Smitty, they don't put a boot on your car for your current tickets. They put a boot on your car for the old tickets that you didn't pay. Yeah, but it's kind of strange how they got you so quick. I mean, you was only in the shop for like two minutes. That's what I'm saying. They must be following me. What? Maybe the satellites are watching me. <laughs> or maybe I got a tracking device on me. God. <laughs> No, no, man. Hello, Smitty. Ah! Hello. Crazy as hell for you. How you find me? It's not like you haven't been working here for the last 20 years. <laughs> and it's just Rochelle now. Ever since you kicked me to the curb, I've been on the road to recovery. Well, hello. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Kenny. Hey, uh, Smitty, I didn't know you dated a rent-a-cop. You do realize I can hear you. You know? You better watch your mouth, or you may be renting dentures. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm Jay. <laughs> I uh, find it hard to believe we haven't met yet. Why would we have? Yeah, Jay's my best friend. And my bodyguard. Uh, you don't need a bodyguard, Smitty. I got help. I'm a whole new person now. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Jay, at ease. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Smitty, heartbreak can be very motivating. You know, that in anger management therapy. <laughs> you know, I see you have a little situation with the boot on your car, and because uh, you, you see I'm a parking officer now, and I might be able to help you with that. Is that a key to the boot? Yes. So that I can make a smooth getaway? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I can unlock it for you if you make me dinner and we can talk about old times. Well... If that's all there is to it, then yeah. Damn, Smitty, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you the man. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the man next to the man. <laughs> I could use a little help with my tickets, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't do the double parking thing. <laughs> yeah. See, this space is reserved for Big Smith. <laughs> Rachel, it uh, show is crazy how uh, you just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Um, you know, uh, haven't seen you in two years. Two years, eight months, three days, four weeks, 48, 49, 50. <laughs> crazy, huh? Like when you cut the tassels off my shoes? I didn't like the fact that another woman had your shoes. She had everybody's shoes. We were at a bowling alley. <laughs> well, that's all in the past now. <laughs> now we can be together. Uh... About that, Rochelle. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of seeing somebody. So, so what are you saying? That you, you're seeing somebody? I'm, 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 so you're wasting my time again? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> the wine, the dining. Well, you said that you wanted me to cook. I just thought we were two old friends having dinner. Oh, you would think that, huh? <laughs> so typical. Should have told me that before I took that boot off. Well, what's the boot got to do with anything? Everything! <laughs> you know what, here I am following you around this city putting tickets on your car. That was you? You behind Smittygate? Yes! And if you don't want to spend the rest of your life in traffic court, you better get with the program. That, that's blackmail. Oh, call it what it is. You know, whatever it takes to get my man back, it is what it is. <laughs> Look, I have a job. And my psychic says that we're supposed to be together. Okay, look here, Michelle. Now, I, 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 what I'm saying is, 
<clears throat> I know we hadn't really talked about this, and I don't mean to give offense. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, mm -hmm. but my significant other will be here soon, and I'm sure that your psychic warned you about the ass whooping that you're gonna be getting if she comes in here and you're still here. Oh, so it's like that now? You get a microwave and you think you all that? <laughs> you know what? I'll leave, but trust and believe this ain't hardly over, big smitty. And I ain't crazy! <laughs> Damn, she crazy. Now, ah, don't shoot. Rufus, what's your problem barging in here like that? You leave your door open in this neighborhood, and I'm the one with the problem. Look, this is not a good time, Rufus. I'm going through some things. I heard. You know those walls right there are paper thin. What, you was ear hustling me through the wall? Well, when I seen that pretty young thing walk up in here, I thought I was going to get some free entertainment. Since my Shake Them Cake 30-day free trial has expired. Oh, so you heard everything. Yep. She's crazy. And I know crazy women. Crazy women love Rufus, if you know what I mean. So if I got to go to court, you could be my witness. Hell no. You don't mess with no court. But for a small fee, I will give you this audio playback that I recorded on my phone. You was recording me? Show sure was. And if you don't start paying your rent on time, I'm going to drop the Smitty Maple sex tape online and see how many likes you get. <laughs> oh, let me get my checkbook. <laughs> Jay, I hate to just up and leave you in your time of need. No, 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 no. <laughs> Percy, uh, you know, as much as I appreciate the Percy experience, I am so happy that you and Cheryl patched things up. You sure? Because I can stay. Oh, no, no, no. It's good. We're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Smitty, are you still on that paranoid thing? Yeah, man. There's been some new developments in Smittygate. Like what? You know that crazy as hell, Rochelle? Yeah. She been on me, man. Oh, we don't need details. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's stalking me, man. And it didn't end well. Get out of here, man. That lady's stalking your old ass. <laughs> she is. I'm telling you, she's stalking me, man. Hey, <laughs> Miss Lady! Oh, no! Rochelle, wow. where are we going to lunch today? Look, Rochelle, you got to stay away from me now. I told you, I told you, I got somebody. Yeah. Yeah, girl, you need to clean the wax up out of your ears. Didn't he just tell you he's in a relationship with somebody? Okay? Now, poof, be gone. Get to step. Wait a minute. Oh, I get it. It makes complete sense. What makes complete sense? You do. What, me in person? No, 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 no. It's you don't okay, but, but, it, it, It's okay, Smitty. You know, I knew there had to be a reason you didn't want all of this. <laughs> I see you around, Smitty. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am glad that's all right. Yes. Actually, Smitty, we go together now. Uh, so, where are you taking me to lunch, big boy? Jay, uh, welcome to the Percy experience. <laughs> <laughs>